All right, now that you have an understanding of the core ABCs, what that means and how it works, we're gonna get right into it and start training it. The first position that we use for training the core ABCs is called the three month position in development. We can just call it happy baby to keep it simple. Okay. So we're gonna get into this position. How we'll do this is we'll line our back and we'll first start in what's called crook line, which is really just your knees bent and feet flat on the ground. The three month position is the legs up here. We'll get to that in just a moment. So first we're gonna establish a couple things. We wanna establish our chest breath versus our belly breath, our abs versus our diaphragm, and then we can start uh, doing the, the abdominal breathing and creating that intra-abdominal pressure. So we'll start with the chest versus belly breath. So take one hand and you put it in your heart, one hand in your belly button, doesn't matter which one. And from here simply, you're just gonna breathe and not think about it. Just take a breath and breathe out. Go ahead and breathe in. Breathe out. After a couple breaths, close your eyes and just feel where you feel movement. So I'm gonna breathe in. And again. Good. For me, I feel more movement here. I feel some here later on in the breath. For some people, it could be different. You could feel way more up here or way more down here. There's no right or wrong answer. It just is what it is. Just want you to be aware of where you're creating breath. Okay. Now we're going to specifically try to generate breath in a certain region, up and down. So chest versus belly. So what we'll do next is on purpose, Try to breathe up into your chest hand while keeping the belly hand completely relaxed and not moving up and down. So I'll do it here. And again. Good. And now I'm going to switch it. I'm going to breathe into my hand over the belly and not breathe into my hand on the chest. Good. If you're having a hard time with this, pause this video, practice this, work on it. It's fine if it takes you a couple days, a couple hours, whatever it may be, but we want to be able to separate that breath. Okay? If you're not positive, if you're breathing into your belly or your chest, what you can do is take both of your hands and take the fingertips and put them right below the collarbone into the chest muscles here. What you should be able to do is feel that when you breathe up into the chest, you get an increase of muscle tension in your pecs here. And then breathe, breathe out, it's completely relaxed. What you want to feel is that when you breathe or engage into your lower abdominal wall here, is that you don't feel the increase in tension here. So I'll do that now. You can see my belly rising and lowering, and I'm not getting increased tension in my pecs. Okay. Once we have that down, then we'll switch into abs versus diaphragm. Okay, so uh, abs versus diaphragm is simply to understand if you're clenching your abs or not. For some people, this is really straightforward. For others, it may be a little confusing. We'll work through it, okay? So the first one we'll do is we'll take our hands and we'll just wrap it around like this. And we'll just create L's with the hands or the index and thumbs. And then wrap it around your abdominal wall. To create abs, all you'll do is just squeeze your muscles or cough and hold. <coughs> right, or I'll squeeze here. Right, I can feel the contraction of the muscles here. Okay. Diaphragm, well, for the uh, sake of ease, we'll call it Buddha belly. So what we'll do here is just push the belly out without breathing. So I'm just gonna push it out and then relax. So think like rising bread. I'm gonna push it out and relax. Push out and relax without squeezing. Some of you may find that as you start to push out, you start to bear down. We don't want that. We want to be able to separate the two to understand the difference. So once you have that, we can start cycling back and forth. We can go Buddha belly, push out, and then squeeze the abs. Push out, relax, squeeze the abs. 
good. And once you can feel that difference of squeezing the abs, that muscular contraction, versus the Buddha belly, which there's no muscular contraction here, I can push into it. As you can see here, if I squeeze, there's not much give. If I just push out, there's give, like if you're to push on the outside wall of a balloon. Once we have those and you cycle back and forth, we're gonna combine the two. We're gonna do Buddha belly first and then abs. And just so you know, this will be important later on in the program when we start to do more adult positions or standing positions when it comes to core training. So I'm gonna do the Buddha belly, push out, and then squeeze the abs and hold and relax, okay? I'm gonna Buddha belly out and then squeeze the abs and relax. This is the special sauce when it comes to creating maximal pressure and core stability, especially for heavy lifting. If you need some time, take a couple hours or days to work on this and we'll move on to the next step.